Hey Pirates, it's Liza. And Sid. Welcome back to this Byglass edition. Neon edition. <laughs> Why was Neon sad? Why? Because all of its friends are gone. Well, that's not funny, but okay. Well, anyway, make sure to stay for the show because we've got some real eye-catching events coming up. Don't forget the Neon Dance is tonight from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. in the small gym. Today at lunch is the last opportunity to buy guest tickets. No guest tickets will be sold at the door. If you can't buy your own ticket, today at lunch, tickets will be sold to students at the door of the dance for $20. So wear your brightest outfits and get ready to make the night glow. Are you excited? I'm livid. Seniors, don't forget to submit your local scholarships because they are due today. Liza, I see you are participating in this week's Beer Week. This is my stuffed animal, Gaga Bear. Aww. So cute. I know, right? Also, the deadline to sign up for summer school is April 14th. Beat the deadline before spring break and take advantage of the all school wide today summer school sign up in the MBHS College and Career Center from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday, March 20th and Tuesday, March 21st. Bring your Chromebook and the counselors will be there to assist you. Next up is a special interview with Haley. I've offended God and mankind for my work did not reach the quality it should have. These were the last words of Italian painter Leonardo da Vinci. Franklin D. Roosevelt's last words were just, I have a headache, very profound. Morbidly, Jane Austen's last words were, I want nothing more than death. Fun. We went and asked Morro Bay High students a burning question. What would you want your last words to be? My last words? Um, I would, uh, uh, <laughs> um, I guess tell my family I love them. <laughs> I'm not ready to die. <laughs> <laughs> My last words would be, what did, what did I say it was? <laughs> <laughs> what would your last words be? Oops. If I was like dying today? Wow, that's pretty sad. <laughs> probably like tell my kids something. Your hypothetical kids that don't exist. Yes, my hypothetical kids, Haley. I would tell my what hypothetical. If you have no hypothetical kids, then what, would you say? what if you're like this old maid? What would your last words be? Oh no. I think if I had the wherewithal to say it, I would probably say something like, uh, "Go and make the world a better place." What would your last words be? I'm like Oprah. Oh my God. What would your last words be, Liza? Oh, how about you? Probably, oh shoot. Anyways, on to sports with the... Wait, who's doing sports? I don't know. I guess you'll have to do it, Liza. Wait, what? Why can't you do it? I don't wanna. Also, I don't know anything about sports. <sighs> okay, fine. Next up is me with sports. Wait, before you go, teachers, take a second to pause and let students sign up for the Lunchtime March Madness Basketball Tournament. What a mouthful. <laughs> oh yeah, make sure to teams of four people and get a delicious prize. The tournament starts at March 14th and goes to the 17th. Gotta run. Oh. <sighs> hey Pirates, it's me again. To start off, baseball had a game last Saturday against Ridgeview Bakersfield and Independence Bakersfield, but had lost. Here's Johnny, Aiden, and Timmy to give us more information about last week's game. How did the game go on Saturday? 
Uh, Saturday was it was a rough game. Both games we ended up losing both of them, but I thought our team played pretty well on both games. How was the weather condition last Saturday? Um, I mean, it was all right. It was a little cold in the beginning, but got sunny and good weather for baseball. How was the team defense? Um, the team played well defensively. Just a few mistakes here and there, but. As the season goes on, we'll be better. Yeah, uh, shout out to John Lewis, John Skaggs. Uh, shout out to my boy Sean. And uh, who pitched? GPZ. Gabe Paul. Yeah, shout out Gabe Paul, lefty. All right, we also got the crab feed coming up this Saturday. Uh, tickets will be $75 for each person. Yeah, we got unlimited crab. We're going to have a good time with good people. See you there. The Crab Feed Fundraiser on March 11 at the Morrow Bay Community Center. Softball had a game last Friday against Rigetti. On Saturday 15th, they will have a home game against Hamilton. Boys Volleyball had a tournament last Friday and Saturday at Morrow Bay High School. On March 14th, they will go against AG High, at AG High School. Today, Swim and Dive will have a meet against Oro Grande High School. Now let's go back to the desk with Sid. Oh, hey, Liza. What's up? <sighs> Wait. I'm good. Next up is Lila Green with AG, uh, Ag Corner. Hi, my name is Lila Green and this is Ag Corner. Last week was National FFA Week. On Tuesday, the FFA held the annual Kiss a Cow contest. Mr. Gady won and kissed the cow Sweetums. On Wednesday, there was Farm Olympics. On Thursday, there was Ag Experience. And to bring FFA Week to a close, there was the annual Barn Dance. Moving on to upcoming events is the FFA State Conference. The dates are March 16th through the 19th. The conference will be held in Ontario, California. If you are signed up to go to State Conference, make sure to get your payments in by Friday, March 10th. That's it for this week's segment of Ag Corner. Well, you were gone. I was trying to think of another neon joke, but I haven't got any. You're so silly. Well, that's it. This week's Pirates. See you tonight. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.